Well, Laura Westbrook, our correspondent, is in Hong Kong for us. There's been this generational shift, if you like, this changing of the guards where the veteran lawmakers are out and these young new faces, some from independent parties, um, some from parties that have just started this year, have uh, been voted in. And, and that's been really dramatic because some of these, some of these parties like Young Spiration or Demazito, which is where De Nathan Law is from, they are voting for what they call self-determination or greater autonomy from Beijing. And that's really unprecedented. That's only come about in the last year. Uh, Laura, as you say, it's two years after the Umbrella Revolution. I mean, how has this news been received in Hong Kong in general, in, in the media, on the television? How have they reacted to it? Well, you know, what's been really interesting here is before the election, um, all the polls were showing that the pro-Beijing camps would do very well. And what's been so surprising here in Hong Kong is how well these young pro-democracy candidates have done. Um, the BBC spoke to Nathan Law earlier, he, and he was really emotional when he said that he couldn't believe how many votes that he got. And I think what's really interesting about this election is that the umbrella movement was uh, criticized for not using that momentum that it has when we saw those hundreds of thousands of people on the streets. They were criticized for not using that to, to have to have action and uh, what this election has really shown is that the young in Hong Kong are still interested in politics and I think that is something that Beijing is going to be watching very very closely. And now let's have a look at the papers. And joining us now from Hong Kong is the BBC's Laura Westbrook, Nathan Law, and the radical uh, young uh, politicians who have won seats in the Let's Go. Are they in the headlines today, Laura? Hong Kongers are waking up to a political landscape that has changed dramatically with the rise of these young pro-democracy but more important pro-independence candidates they are putting independence on the agenda and that's really being reflected in the newspapers here today uh, the South China Morning Post which is the main English speaking newspaper here in Hong Kong says voters change political landscape it's got a bit um, a picture here of Eddie Chu he was one of the biggest winners uh, winning 84,000 votes and uh, it goes on to say quite interestingly how these young localists are going to work with the Democrats in LegCo. They've got the majority to be able to veto votes and what, what they consider pro-Beijing votes in LegCo. But they have different agendas in how they'll work with the older veteran pro-democracy candidates. Now that remains to be seen. So LegCo is entering some very uncharted waters here. Now looking at the Oriental Daily News. It says, out with the old, in with the new. You've got the new localists and the old veteran lawmakers out. And it goes on to say that the government, um, it's quite critical of the government um, for uh, not engaging with the youth. And finally here in the Sing Pao, it uh, says the new young blood is in. And it blames C.Y. Leung for stoking the fire of, these, of the rise of these independence candidates. And... Uh, what remains to be seen is whether these independence candidates will put pressure on Hong Kong and therefore Beijing to reconsider political reform here in Hong Kong. Laura Westbrook joining us from Hong Kong. Thank you so much for that newspaper update.